Hi guys, we're back with lesson five. We're almost finished now, so I hope to get, if I don't get everything done in this lesson here, then we'll finish it up in lesson six. All right, so I'll do my best to get it all finished for you. So we're gonna do the doorknob right now. So we got the door and the shadow in there. And um, so if you, if you find some of the lines are not the way you want them, just adjust them by, uh, by taking a brush taking your color that you used in here and you can adjust some there we go adjust it see good so if you do that then you get that nice and straight so let's do let's use this little tiny brush and we will use uh, what color let's see let's see let's go with brown so go brown for our and you can do if you got any leftover dark purple color there just dip your brown mix it in with your dark if you don't just take your burnt umber and make a little circle you just tap it if you just touch just make sure it's a little bit round that's all be a little round doorknob okay and we'll let that dry a little bit before we do anything else with it okay these ledges are a little thick, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a bit of uh, dark black and blue and put it in the windows to shape up our edges and shape up our windows the way we want them. Okay, so use your black to get your windows the way you want them. If you find that your sill, window sill is too big, just go back over with some black to uh, thin it out a bit. Same it over here. So we'll just take a bit of black and blue and we'll, oh, don't, okay, so it's all right. So, and then we'll straighten up the bottom one here. Good. Okay. Good. Now, what we're going to do now is we'll also put some dark color in here. Good and good. So I'm going to put more, I'm going to put a bit of blue in here, a bit of blue, can't see it because I got too much black on my brush, so take that off and go into your blue, and a bit of blue in here, in your windows, because you want to make some cracks in the windows to make it look like they're, uh, like it's a really old cabin, okay? Hasn't been used for a while, the family moved away, the family moved away, about Florida. Okay, so... Well, I'm in Newfoundland, so I'm thinking about the cold weather. So, Florida is a nice place for warm weather. So, let's brighten up that with a little bit of white. Alright, just to give it so it looks like there might be some reflection in the window for now. A little bit of reflection. And then we get a little bit of reflection over here, just a little tiny bit. So we got to get those cracks in the window. Okay, now here's how you're going to make your cracks. All right. So we got the windows lighter. Okay, get it nice and get get some light. In order to get that crack looking, we have to get some uh, a lighter color in the background. Okay, so let's go in with a lighter a lighter color here just to help us. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. Okay, just lighten it up a bit there too. I I didn't lighten it up enough. Lighten it up a bit. Alright, let's get that done. These cracks are going to be a little hard because they're uh, so small. But I'm going to give it a shot for you. Okay, so this is what the cracks look like. Alright, that's what the windows look like. And you're going to always look at this painting here. You can always take, stop, pause your uh, TV or whatever you're watching it on and take a picture of this and then you can have something to follow. Okay, and that will help you because this one's a little bit different than the one I'm doing on video. This is the one I, I took more time with. And like you said, on video it's harder, but I'm doing my best. But uh, if you want to take a picture of that painting, then you can use that as a reference. Okay, now let's give this a shot. Dip into pure black. Okay, pure black with a little tiny brush, a little teeny weeny brush. Now, I don't know, I better not move it. I better not move it, guys, because I might what focus might go away. So what I'm going to do is put a bit of black in the window. Touch black. 
All right, it's not pure round circle, it's just a bit of black. All right, let me show you. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know. Okay, and so, you take that, and then all you have to do with that black is take a bit of white, all right? A little bit of white on top of your brush. And then, around the edge of that black, you make a little trim. And voila, you have a crack in the window. Voila, voila. See? Okay. I hope you can see that. Now, I'm going to do another one. This one has a crack probably over here. I'm not sure. I don't want to make it look like eyes. But I'll just put some black in there. So your background has to be lighter color so that you can get the pure black. And then a little trim of white around the black edges, very thinly. And that will give you some cracks in your windows. All right. So with the same brush, just take a bit of brown and a bit of uh, brown and a bit of uh, red and a little tiny bit of white and make a couple. You don't have to have these, but you can make a little, a couple of little. Uh, I don't know what you call them, during your windows. Windows, windows, make it look like windows. All right, and another window here. Here, there we go, that's good. That's good. All right, so we're getting there, we're getting there. Now, here we're going, next we're going to do the flower pots. So the flower pots are pretty simple. The flower pots are like those there. Okay, flower pots and some flowers. So let's do some of those in front of the house. Okay. So all we need for that is to, you can take your chalk and draw them out first if you want. You don't have to. All it is is, uh, I'll do it with the brush. I'm gonna take some brown paint. And all it is, is uh, pick a spot and then draw a line over on the top. And then draw a line on the bottom and the flower pot's going to be in the grass. Line on the bottom and then join up those lines. And that's one flower pot. Paint it in brown. Okay, it's one flower pot. Alright, and then we'll do another flower pot on this side, maybe a smaller one, line on top, line on the bottom, join them up and sort of round them, round them out so, so it looks like a little pot. Okay, And then we will do another one on the other side. So let's do another one. So over here is a little flower pot. Line on top, line on the bottom and just join them up and you can have whatever shape you want. It can be small, big, tall, whatever you want. And then all you have to do is add some yellow to your brown with your dirty brush. Some yellow. Maybe a little bit of red. Red and yellow. Just mixing a bit of red and yellow. And then I'm going to take that and I'm going to highlight the top of the pot right here. And up here. And up here. Okay. Now we need to brighten it up, obviously. Just go get a bit more yellow. So, boop. Boop, boop, be doop. All right, so then we got here. So that's good. And then on the bottom, you want to add a little bit more brown to your uh, brown, uh, yellow and brown. To, so it's a lighter brown. And then you just take the edge of your flower pot right here and pull it in. Leave one side of your pot dark, okay? So brown and yellow, brown and yellow, and pull it in, okay? And leave leave the uh, that's the side the sun is coming in on. So the uh, right hand side of your pot is going to be light, and leave the other half of the pot dark. All right, 
right, so then there we go, and pull in. Another pot over here, pull in. Oops, okay. And then you're going to get a dark brown with a little bit of black added to it. So it's nice and dark. And we will take a little line underneath that highlight, put a little line there for shadow. Alright, there we go. And you can fix it up now because we're just trying to get things in place, okay? So fix it up by adding the same colors back in there again. Pull over. Yellow and brown. Yellow. Brown. And that way you can shape up your uh, pots too, right? Shape it up. If you don't like to shape, you can always shape it up then. Okay. If it won't brighten up enough for you, just add a bit of white to your yellow. There we go. Okay. Looks like I gotta clean my brush. I wanna clean my brush. There we go. Some yellow. Yellow. That's better. So then add to the very edges of your pot to make it look like maybe the sun is shining on it. Is that better? Good. We'll add a little bit over here. We'll bring it in. I'm not sure if the sun would be shining there. This is where you have to make your decisions, right? Because, like I said, uh, your world, as Bob Ross would say, your world. So you will do your painting your way. But you still want to have the colors correct and your values and your contrasts and all kind of composition, all that stuff. If, if you can get all that, you'll have a beautiful painting, okay? So I'm trying my best to, to explain that in different videos. And as the videos go on, I'm going to explain more and more about uh, all this stuff so that you can get to know why things work the way they work. So much fun. It's so much fun when you know all these details. It's much more fun than just painting and, and saying, I don't know what I'm doing really, you know, uh, I'm just painting. But you, but when you know what happens and why it happens, you're like, oh yeah, I can make a really good painting. So now what you're going to do is you're going to get a small flat brush, the smallest one you can find. Okay, small flat brush. So we're going to make, um, here we go, it's just something small, flat bristol brush. Now I'm going to make some flowers in the flower pot. So all you have to do is get some green paint and some red, so green and red, tone it down a bit. Maybe a bit of blue to really tone it down. So we want underpainting, want it to be nice and dark, okay? So I'm just tapping into a bit of red, blue, and green. And I will highlight that after. So just get some, so just tap on some green on top of your, on top of your pot. I'm going to get some lighter green. So you got your dark value, and now a medium value. Medium value. So now you got your dark value and your medium value. And now a lighter value. I just add a little bit of yellow to my green and we get a lighter value. So I have three values on that one. So let's do another one. Let's do the other pot. So tap into your darker value. Tap on your green. Good. And now you're going to tap on a lighter green. Good. And maybe even a lighter green. Alright, so just get those values going. Gives you some really good contrast. Okay, now darker green again. That's green and a bit of red. A bit of blue. That's your dark green We're over here. Now whatever way you want your flowers, put your greens underneath it, okay? And then your lighter green. So that's your second value. And then your yellow, uh, uh, lighter green. Okay, so these are not your flowers. This is just your underpainting for your flowers. Okay, now for your flowers, we are going to take our flat brush. 
tap it off in your hand so you can spread open the bristles. See how I spread them open? Spread them open. So when you spread them open, now we want some flowers. So we're going to take some white, because we want some white flowers. You can have whatever color flowers you want. <coughs> Excuse me. Moi. Flowers. Tap, tap, tap. Just these little taps. And voila. You have some pretty flowers. You tap that right on top of those greens that you just did. And you have some pretty white flowers. Make sure they're not big blobs. Now make sure they're nice. So I'm hardly tapping. I'm just touching. Okay? There's some nice white flowers. Now I might, might want some red flowers. So we'll add some red flowers. Okay. Here's your red flowers. Red it is. Tap, 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 tap. Red flowers. You might want to add a little bit of yellow to your red if you want to get some flowers in there. There we go. So whatever way you want your flowers. And let's see what else we got here. How about some just pure yellow flowers over here. So just yellow on top of your greens that you made, okay? All right. If you want, if you want, you can add some white to your yellow to really brighten it up. I'm getting all colors, colors here now because my brush is pretty dirty. And they could, there we go, nice big bunch. Good. They might be hanging down over the side. Okay, now, they're a little bit different than the other painting because every painting you do is going to be different. You're not going to have exactly the same painting every time. You can do the same painting over and over 20 times and, and it'll always be different. So now let's take some more red and green and blue and get an underpainting for, I'm going to add a little tiny bit of black this time because I want a nice dark underpainting. I'm going to put a little blob here for another flower, okay? So that's that said, I'll let that dry now while we're waiting. So next is um, that flower there and then I'm going to go and do one more video. I'm pretty sure I can get it done in the next video which is lesson um, six. I keep getting confused with the lessons. Well, I'll, I'll explain it to you on the, when, when I write it up on the YouTube. Okay, so I'm going to finish off this little one here and then I'm going to go and then I'm going to let you work on it. And all we need for that is a liner brush. Just get a liner brush like that. Script liner, rigger, whatever you want to call it. So what we're going to do is drag this through some white and some yellow. Okay? And you're just going to take some of these lines out like this, just to make some of these different kind of flowers. That's it. You might want to drag it through a little bit of green. Whatever colors you want to drag it through, okay? You just drag it through, drag it through, like, can you see? Like that. And then you just pull them out, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out and down, pull out and down. Pull up, down, pull up, down, and add more light color to it so that you can get a nice, a nice light. So that'd be yellow, <laughs> yellow and green, or yellow and red, or yellow, whatever colors you want. You just pull them down and set. I need more yellow, so I'm just going to get some more yellow. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to get more yellow, pull it through, and I'm going to put some yellow in there just to brighten it up. Now, I'm going to go and finish off your flower, and I'll come back, and then we'll hopefully finish it this time. I really hope we can finish it. So, I'll see you in the next video.